Howdy everybody, this is Jim, and I'm in McGregor, Texas, from near there. That's the SpaceX uh, McGregor test rocket test site. I've ridden my motorcycle out here today uh, because, one, I come out here every two or three months to see what's going on, and two, because I've had the great good fortune of being chosen a, again, or being accredited again as a social media reporter for the March 1st launch of the Falcon 9 Dragon capsule combination to the space station as part of commercial resupply mission number two. Now part of that is the mission. I'm really excited about this uh, next trip. I went in October for commercial resupply number one and I'm really excited about getting to go again. Now I have new camera equipment arriving tomorrow and my intent is to, to really uh, saturate the interwebs with as many videos, YouTube postings, blog postings, tweets, uh, Reddit, Facebook updates that I can. I'll be one of uh, somewhere I think around 30 or 40 space social media reporters or space nerds probably is a good description. Uh, they were a great bunch of people last time. I just, I just really enjoyed the heck out of hanging out with them. Uh, NASA rolls out the red carpet for us there, the social media reporters. We get our own little press building with good solid internet, lots of power, power outlets at each desk, uh, video feed, the NASA video feed on HDTV, uh, many uh, VIPs visit us in Katowice, including Mr. Bolden, the uh, administrator of NASA. And I will say this, for Na uh, President Obama, I've had my differences with him, but he knocked it out of the park by appointing Mr. Bolden. He is a, an outstanding man, former Mar Marine fighter pilot, general officer, and really is a guy that I, I can't think, I don't think we have, a former astronaut, I don't think we have a better man to, to, to administer our space program than, than we have in Mr. Bolden. It's just super that he's doing that job. The CRS-2 mission, it should be a routine mission. This is the second of 12 planned resupply missions to the shuttle. It's the fourth flight of the uh, of the Dragon Falcon combination to the space station. The first two were test flights. The commercial contract that NASA took out with SpaceX contemplated three test flights, but the first two went so well that in October they said, oh, let's just blow off the third one. We don't need it. Let's do an operational mission. So I was privileged to uh, go out there and report from that. Uh, now that I know the setup, I'm hoping I can do a much better job. Uh, I, I'm not going to give any details on the CRS mission 2. I've been reading up on it, but when we get there, if it's like last time, they'll give us a press kit, and we'll uh, we'll have a lot of details that I'll pass to you. If you have any questions about SpaceX, NASA, or the uh, commercial resupply contracts, please let me know. We are allowed as social media reporters to participate in all the briefings and to meet a number of the VIPs, so I might be able to get an answer for you. That's a, I think a Falcon 9 unpainted fuselage in the right test stand. The left one is the original Navy test stand that they've been using. This will be a daytime launch. The last one was at night, so that will be a nice change. I'd like to go to all 12 of the uh, uh, commercial resupply uh, SpaceX missions, but I'm not sure my employer will, uh, will go for that. But let me thank my employer, Affinity Corporation in Austin, Texas. The CEO, our CEO, is... Uh, uh, very supportive of me taking a week off to go do this, and uh, I, I am very grateful. I'm very grateful to Affinity. I'm grateful to NASA, especially Jason in the NASA social media office, and to SpaceX for allowing us to, uh, a little inside look at, at this uh, important mission. I really think commercial resupply, commercially contracted routine orbital missions is the way to go in the future. From the military, I am ex-military, I am retired Air Force, and I do think that I hope SpaceX gets a fair shot at competing with the United Launch Alliance, so Launch Alliance to, uh, to compete for the large uh, national security payloads that launch from time to time. Uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with the United Launch Alliance. They're a fine company. They've done, uh, I guess, 60 uh, national security launches in a row without a, a serious problem. And, uh, but uh, competition helps everybody. It'll help, competition will help ELA, it'll help SpaceX, and the, the winner will be the uh, Air Force and the taxpayer. So I'm really excited. I think our space, despite all the financial problems we have, and I think the, our space program is, is really ringing every, uh, 
as much performance and, and uh, value out of every penny we give them, and I wish we'd give them a little more. This is Jim, SpaceX McGregor Test Site, McGregor, Texas.